this motorcycle is more or less uh, the Himalayan. The Himalayan goes to the gym, works out, sheds some weight, and you get the Gorilla 450. That's a good amount of power for this motorcycle. Hello and welcome back to Motozo and today I am riding the Gurela 450. So special thanks to Royal Enfield showroom in Chinapak and I am sharing the details of the showroom who have given me the opportunity to ride this motorcycle maybe first in Kolkata. So uh, the first thing that I am going to talk about is the throttle response. It's amazing. Oh, I don't like the traffic. There's a lot of traffic here. It's not at all a good time to do a motorcycle review. So I'm trying to maneuver it through traffic, not through Barcelona. And today we will see how this one is actually riding on the city. There was one false neutral, I don't know why, but the bike pulls so damn good. Wow, this is not a typical Royal Enfield. Uh, engine i'm this pulls so damn good to be honest wow it feels like a ktm to be honest the wider section tires are pretty rideable in city and uh, it's providing a decent amount of grip so also the bike is pulling damn good because of the new Sherpa engine I might go to Eco Park and actually I'll be able to you know ride the motorcycle nicely because there's so much of traffic here hardly getting any opportunity to you know test its limits oh, I will not go and talk too deep about the specifications of this motorcycle because that can be read from the spec sheet straight away but the thing that I'm gonna talk about is how good this motorcycle actually rides in the streets of Kolkata so as you know it's a uh, uh, there is a peak traffic time right now and uh, the roads are not that empty. So this is actually a very good time to test out this motorcycle. So the thicker 160 segment tires in the rear are phenomenal. They are amazing. The grip that I am getting is pretty good. Uh, although it was the road conditions are not that rainy today. It is not slippery but uh, testing it on the dry, the real world environment Trust me, it doesn't feel like I am riding a Royal Enfield motorcycle. Uh, especially coming from the engine, the engine is same as the Himalayan 450. But uh, they have done some changes with the gearing, uh, uh, with the sprockets, because of which the gearing ratio have has changed a little bit. And uh, I actually found this motorcycle very peppy from the initial like 2000-3000 rpm unlike the Himalayan so let's see we will ride it further and I'll talk more about this this thing I felt is that I am actually touching the rear foot pillion footrest 
as you can see here compared to the himalayan obviously the foot pegs are a little bit rear set but as you can see i am 510 um, if i am trying to place my feet above it's touching the rear pillion uh, footrest so that's uh, not a good thing to be honest oops see so what i feel that this is an amazing roadster and uh, i think if you're not an adventure if you don't go on long tours all the time all throughout the year uh, you can actually buy this motorcycle this is an all rounder kind of a motorcycle so you you won't be having an issue uh, at all because this is such a gem uh, it's kind of maneuverable in city and what not you can have actually have fun with this the tank looks damn good it's so big um, it doesn't looks like a 400 450 cc looks way bigger to be honest there's the fzx side by side the second gear is pulling so nicely so let's see how the c8 is actually performing in dirt in bad roads it's not that it's not a, at all uh, like uh, i would say an, a dual purpose a scrambler this is not a scrambler if you want to have fun off road then you should get the triumph triumph scrambler 400x but anyways coming back to this motorcycle it has that fun element it is almost 11 kilos lighter than the himalayan it has a wider section tire and uh, it has i think two size bigger sprockets in the rear so that's actually increasing the top end of the motorcycle but uh, i'll be very honest this doesn't feels like a royal enfield at all this is not your typical royal enfield motorcycle this motorcycle is actually flickable there is some vibrations around uh in the foot pegs i don't feel any vibration till 6500 rpm but uh, we will stop somewhere and we will talk about the motorcycle the brakes are very powerful you see that this bike does has a very good road presence wow that was good cornering on this motorcycle already so the c8s tires are not that bad they won't disappoint you if you're planning to get one or oh, such an asshole yeah the gopro is still rolling so i was scared of the battery but anyways uh, should you buy this motorcycle well i think if you're somebody who want who doesn't go on a tour that much and uh, you want to have fun you want you maybe you like once a year if you're going on a tour and uh, decent weekend rides if you want a good fun office commuter uh, that you should surely buy this motorcycle uh, this doesn't goes on the right side that was there on the himalayan i think they have fixed it with this motorcycle but other than that this is an eye candy It looks damn beautiful to be honest.
so maybe i'll stop somewhere here and talk a little bit more about this so this is not barcelona this is kolkata okay let's park this motorcycle and talk a little bit more about this so this motorcycle is more or less uh the himalayan the himalayan goes to the gym works out sheds some weight and you get the gorilla 450 the subframe it has been changed other than that uh, everything on this motorcycle is of the himalayan everything except the rear sprocket the subframe and the suspensions these are conventional telescopic suspensions although uh, i really had fun with this but uh, i'm pretty sure if this was a usd fork it would have actually improved the handling uh, especially for high speed you know corners and all these stuffs so this is a completely very good motorcycle uh, it does resemble the ducati scrambler from the rear and <laughs> what not but anyways as a complete product uh, i would say if you're planning to buy the gorilla 450 you can surely go ahead and buy this motorcycle so i uh, i think that's all uh, if you have any questions about this motorcycle uh, you can feel free to comment and uh, this few issues I found with this motorcycle. The first one I'll tell you is that when I'm seated on the motorcycle and I'm shifting gears and I'm trying to place my feet back too far, you can see my boots are actually touching the rear pillion footrest. So this is a flaw. I don't know why maybe because my feet is too long, <laughs> nothing like that. But uh, I think the f this thing should have been placed a little bit more towards the rear side. But anyways, the motorcycle looks damn beautiful. It looks so good and gorgeous. So if you got any questions about this motorcycle, feel free to uh, ask me and I'll be able to help you out. So that's all for today's video. And if you have any other questions, you can comment down below and I'll be able to answer it for you. So see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.